Nigella Lawson is with us. You know her from uh, the Food Network. But I was asking this question, but you can answer it. Yeah. If, if you're in England, you are along with who? Rowling and those, but you're you're the most famous woman in England. You can't go anywhere. Uh, well, I saw her in a department store in England, and um, everyone was looking, and I was like, "What's everyone looking?" Oh my God, that's Nigella Lawson. So you are a big deal. So when there. you come over here, is it kind of relaxing a little bit? Yes, but you know, it's quite nice because so many people I find they out know. who that you know, I'm, if I'm in a kitchenware shop or something, uh, then they know. Like they you, know of and that's like, then people start you. It's always relaxing you. here. Yeah, it's always relaxing. Well, here. It's lovely. Here. Yes, welcome Thank to you. England. Do you know Kate Moss? A bit. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I love her. She's like Did you hear <laughs> Prince Harry and his girlfriend broke up? <laughs> I'm making you some flourless chocolate brownies. This now, is why flourless? Why did that start? Well, I suppose so many people like, you know, have a feeling that they don't want to have the gluten and they want mm -hmm. to avoid that. Ah, but they so still want to. And if you're going to have people, yes, if they're intolerant or they're allergic, mm -hmm. if you're going to have people over supper and you want to make a little treat, you don't want suddenly half people there to say, I can't eat it. Right. But actually, That's what they always say when but I But actually, <laughs> Is it but less fattening without the no. flour? No, because no, it's, it's just more chocolate. Um, no, 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 it's just that you substitute ground almonds. But actually, oh, what they nuts mm -hmm. do as well is they keep everything really sort of tender and moist. So it's like the easiest thing in the world. You know, you think like, oh, I'm not going to cook yes. this. Yes. So I've just got chocolate and butter in there, mm. and then I'm going to put in some ground almonds. Mm. And you just grind them yourself or buy them like that? No, I buy them like that. Okay. Sugar. Yes, stirring. It's nice. Do you like stirring? my house we would be serving wine right now so that people don't really taste my cooking because they get uh, really biased. Like that, but this, it's a little early. This can be... No, for I mean, some. No, but anyway, this is so... I'm going to take this off the heat so I want to put the eggs in. Now, you don't so need a double some, boiler, which I've never understood no, a double boiler double, anyway. But. Yes. Look, some people are very nervous about melting chocolate, and it can go wrong. But if you put the butter in at the same time, it won't, it won't, go, it, wrong. It won't, it won't go wrong. I mean, I always do everything at a too high a heat, but you don't... Because you know, you're hot and sizzly. I saw your show one time, I was like, this girl's a sexy, hot food <laughs> This girl is. Yeah. yeah. So um, was I just I was some vanilla and some eggs. Okay. What is it about you, you Brits, and I say you Brits, like you and Gordon Ramsay, I could watch nonstop. There's something about you. What do you think it is that attracts people here in the States? I don't know. I think that... I mean, I always feel with my cooking, it's that I'm not a chef. So people look at me and they think, well, I cook like that. Yeah, I'm not doing people that relate clever. to you. I'm not doing that clever. And also, I think people you know, like to look at you. That could no, be a I don't know. It's that. And I also think that, you know, we feel that you know, I have, you know, a lot of work and I've got two children and a stepdaughter. And You're like a, you have to a, a, a real woman around those around those constraints that you don't have a lot of time and you're needed elsewhere. Right. So everything I do is about fitting into but, life. But also, you're the, you're the kind yeah. of woman who, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in England when you did a special on the history of your family mm -hmm. and millions and millions and millions of people watched, most of us don't go around with people knowing that much about us. That's that's true and it's it's strange because I we always think of it as emanating from the States, mm -hmm. that sort of openness. Oh, I think of it as England. England, and you're very so open. That, so that it's quite interesting. but. Hmm. Certainly. I mean, it is quite interesting that the whole thing about genealogy people are obsessed with, and I think worldwide, the, when you look at, if you look at what they do on search engines, mm -hmm. most people are tracing mm -hmm. family. Like and yeah. for some reason, mm -hmm. maybe it's the world is a very fast-paced entity now, yeah. and we, are, we tend to live maybe far away from people we grew up with or whatever, that people are, are really obsessed with finding out where they came from. Connections. Now, I don't know that it really tells you anything about yourself because what you are is the life that you live. That's true. I think. But it's sometimes nice it's to find out where, like, for instance, I didn't context. know where I was from, and I found out my dad was born in London and my mom was born in Dublin. Yes. It did help me with, yes. you know, figure a lot of, which is why I'm so cuckoo. Because you're English <laughs> and you're cuckoo, I can tell. Okay. I spot it. I'm just carrying Mile on. Mile away. Just carry on. That's right. See, you're just good that way. Good. So, so listen, so this is something that it took, like, I mean, I was listening and talking, so it's about three minutes to do this. Mm -hmm. And it turns it into that? And it turns into that after 25 minutes in the oven. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes. I've got Thank some you. ice cream on this one. Oh, Who wants a bowl with oh, ice cream? Well, okay. <laughs> oh, that's crumbly and good. Oh, yeah, why well, you have to have. Oh, oh, James, is you cool. Ooh, this oh, is quite God, the honor you're giving yeah. away. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Chocolate's good. You know oh, yeah. now mm. that dark chocolate is full of antioxidants. Yes, it's exactly. This is health food. Nuts, <laughs> also very good. Better, this is better than Weetabix. Uh, you read that. Okay. No, that's really good. <laughs> that okay. is really good. What is this? Mm. That's okay. some chocolate mousse underneath there, and that's some Nutella pancakes. Now, is it, are these the Nutella, which is very big in, yeah. in Canada? But you can't get it something that we could um, find out in this book? Yes, everything's in there and so many ideas for quick meals that you can do every because day. Because she's not and a chef, you just throw it together for the family. And you have a uh, book too. signing. Me too. Uh, by the way, this uh, we have the recipe on my uh, foxla.com, oh, so good. check it out. You have a book signing tonight at Borders Books 
at Borders, Bush. Which one? In Torrance. Nice. I think at what, 7 o'clock? Yes, 7 o'clock. It's great to have you here. Now, Jella, come back and see us. Anytime. Okay. Yeah, it's a 